Like everybody remembers these bad boys from the 80s. These old school survival knives. This one's actually aluminum. So it's more heavy duty than some of the plastic cheaper versions of it. The compass does work. See that rust there? That wasn't there until I put some vinegar down in the handle last night. Because I noticed the knife is like turns into a screw and then it has a little bolt on it. And I put the vinegar on there to cut some of that rust. And I think it just ran through and got onto everything. But what I'm going to do with this one, made in Taiwan, 420 stainless steel. If you remember the commercials, it was molecular stainless steel. It's got an okay edge on it. It's about an eighth of an inch thick. And it has the hollow handle with the little survival kit inside also. But I'm going to tape the blade off. Because the old paint is chipping, as you can see, I'm going to repaint it. Basically, I'm going to put JB Weld down in here after I put some uh, Loctite on the threads. And I'm going to really make this substantially tougher. But I'm sure it'll never be a Kisley R. <laughs> okay, here's the final update on this knife. I basically restored as much stuff on it as I could. I put crazy glue along all the stitching on both sides and that just firms it up and lessens the chance of it uh, like fraying and falling out. And uh, I did move this strap down to here, but it causes the knife to fall forward if you're trying to wear it, which is no good. So I had to put it back up where it was. And the reason I had moved it down was, let's see here, I was trying to prevent it from slipping out that far, like when it's upside down. And if you move the strap down, it does stop it from doing that, but then when you try to try to wear it on your belt or anything, it the, the heavy handle falls forward. So that was a no-go, so I ended up moving it back up there. But there it is. I repainted all of the uh, black paint on it. So first I lightly sanded it and scuffed it up. Then I repainted it all. I put uh, crazy glue down in these two like little holes right there. And that might not look like it, but they're filled in pretty deep. And then I put a little piece of ranger band right there that's working like a kind of like a rubber seal and you can take this little packet out and I'll try to see if we can see down in here now you can't see the bolt or the tang at all I put a red thread lock down in there let it dry and then I put steel stick on top of it so it's got epoxy down in there it is really sealed up and that doesn't affect the survival kit from fitting in there it all still fits it's got the wire saw mat the old matches which are all black on the ends it's just there's almost nothing left but the fish hooks and the it's all there pretty much I think the sewing needle's in there too. But if I get it wrapped up tight enough, it just kind of twists and goes right down in there. And that's all it has to go. It's plenty enough for this cap to fit back on. Yeah, but there it is. It's got the new paint. It's got a red thread lock on the inside. It's got crazy glue on the outside, and it has epoxy steel stick on the inside. And the old survival kit still fits in it. Nice new paint job. It almost looks new. I took uh, like chrome polish to the blade, and this was used when I got it. It had some scuffs. Remember, this is 420 molecular stainless steel from the 80s, so you know how it goes. But anyways, 
yeah, that's probably about as good as this knife can get. So yeah, that's where I moved the uh, peg down. Didn't work out, ended up going back up there. But uh, it's fine, didn't hurt nothing. Other than a little hole there. But yeah, I, you, you could take these up just a notch just by doing a little customization on them if you like them and they have that nostalgia effect for you. But yeah, cool little survival knife. This is my second one. The first one I got had a plastic handle. Uh, well, not the first one I ever had, but that I've reviewed later in life now that I picked them up again. But this one actually had the aluminum butt cap and the aluminum handle. So it definitely feels heavier and more solid. But yeah, I like it. I think it's a neat addition to my collection. This is Joe Doomsday signing out. On Rambo, one man who's been pushed too far. You're finished! You've got as far as you're gonna go! Heading straight for the top. Right on top of him. There's no way out of here except through us. He was hunted. Trapped. Except the fact that you're dealing with an expert in guerrilla warfare. Are you telling me that 200 men against your boy is a no-win situation for us? You send that many, don't forget one thing. A good supply of body bags.